Now we're going to talk about copyright law and why you should copyright your music and how to do it. Uh, if you're going to be submitting your music to several different people for TV placements or uh, production placements for artists, etc., before we even go any further, we need to discuss copyrights. There's a lot of people in the music industry, especially on the internet, uh, bloggers and whatnot, who will tell you that you don't have to pay any money to file a copyright and that anything you create is automatically copyrighted under US law. Now, this is true, but the difficulty comes in when you have to prove that you created something or that you are the copyright holder of whatever it is that's in dispute. That is when a filed copyright is invaluable and it's something that you absolutely need to have. Not only that, but in order to sue someone for copyright infringement, even if you didn't file a copyright, you're gonna have to file a copyright before an attorney can file a copyright infringement lawsuit. That's a fact. Um, there's a lot of companies who will offer to file copyrights for you. I've seen people charge as much as, you know, $2,000 to copyright a song, attorneys or, or, or whoever. And hey, if, if, if you're too, you know, busy or I, I'm, I'm tempted to say lazy to like go to loc.gov, which is the Library of Congress's website, government website, uh, which is the, the main site for the U.S. Copyright Office, and fill out those forms and submit the music yourself. I think it costs like $45 now. If you don't have time to do that and you want to pay somebody else to do it, I mean, so be it. Um, but it's it's not that complicated to do yourself. Basically, all you do is you, you go to the Library of Congress's website. You can Google Library of Congress dot gov, L-O-C dot gov, and you go on there and uh, you navigate your way to the the U.S. Copyright Office, and uh, you, for a sound recording, which is what what you would be copywriting if it's a song, uh, there's a form SR. You fill it out, you submit your music. Uh, you can send them a physical CD, or you can now you can even upload the music uh, in their admin once you set up an account or whatever. So it, it's pretty simple, and um, it's something that you don't want to skip. Um, like I said, there's plenty of people who will tell you otherwise and that, oh, you don't have to do that or whatever. You know, that's true, but at the same time, it's not true. So most of those people don't know what they're talking about and they've never had to deal with a copyright infringement lawsuit. Because any lawyer that you talk to is going to ask you, did you file a copyright with the U.S. Copyright Office before they even can do anything besides send a, you know, cease and desist letter, which if you don't have a copyright filed, is probably going to get ignored. So... LOC.gov is where you want to go to copyright your music, to file your copyrights officially. There's other companies out there that will do it for you. Um, I recommend just learning how to do it yourself at the U.S. Copyright Office. It costs like 45 bucks, man. So look into that and copyright your music. You can also copyright multiple songs in one submission as well, as long as it all fits on a CD. Um, some people do that because you, Everybody can't afford $45 every time they have to copyright one song. So if you're on a budget, I would recommend doing that way. Doing it anyway is better than not doing it at all. Because if you get if your music gets stolen, you, you're going to be in a bad spot. Um, and that's about it for copyright. Uh, copywriting your music. How to go about doing it.